So I'm going to show you guys how I go from this to this. Yes. Stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I am back with a hair tutorial that I am freaking loving. It is a twist and curl using some products from Moisture Love, which are over right there. <laughs> um, so I use everything from the line. I do show you guys from start to finish how I achieve this look. It's super beautiful, so freaking soft i love 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 how this came out it's so pretty so just so soft i wish you guys can touch it well not really but i love how it turned out um my hair is just it's just thriving it's just thriving and i just love how these products came out using this so i hope you guys enjoy i'm not going to make this a long intro um because i feel like my past few ones have been long so, if you guys want to see how I got this hair, then definitely keep on watching. So, I'm going to be starting off in the shower, and I am going to first go in with the Gentle Embrace Shampoo. And I did have like an empty uh, sealed with the Kiss container, and I just took the nozzle off and put it on my shampoo bottle. That way, I can just focus it on my scalp and just really get it in there, and I'm just going to work that in and i love the lather on this this thing smells amazing you guys know that i love moisture love so just just you already know how much i love their products um and my hair is already in twist because i did pre-poo and pre-detangle my hair next i'm going to go in with a scalp massager and just work that shampoo in i wanted my hair to be my scalp to just be really really clean when I start stressing girls, the psoriasis really kicks in. So I really like this scalp massager for that. And I'm just going to show you guys how like clean my hair looks. Just look at that. So next I'm going to go in with the deep indulgence conditioner. And I just use this to deep condition my hair. This conditioner has amazing slip. So I just apply it and I just mainly finger detangle. I don't actually end up using a... Uh, brush or comb until I get to like the leave-in section and by then my hair is pretty detangled so I just work this in and just finger detangle I don't use a comb at all for this part um, just because the conditioner does have really good slip and I just twist my hair to keep it out of the way while I do the rest of my hair so I'm just going to show you another section in the front and then I will be back So after I applied all the deep conditioner, I do cover my hair with a plastic cap and left that on. And this is the shed hair that I had during the detangling process. Not a lot. So after I left it on for about maybe an hour because I was doing things around the house, I am going to rinse all of that deep conditioner out in sections. And I'm just going to show you guys before I rinse it out how soft my hair looks and moisturized. Um, and I do detangle my hair first with a detangling brush rinse it out and then I'm gonna go in with some aloe vera juice um, just to close up my cuticles and then I'm gonna go in with the now and forever leave-in conditioning serum um, before I get out of the shower I've been liking to do this method instead of applying my conditioner outside of the shower so I'm just gonna go in and break those sections down pretty much into the size of the twist that I'm gonna be doing my hair in. That way it'll save me some time once I'm out of the shower. So I just twist that section up and put it in a Bantu knot um, to keep it out of the way. For 
after I apply the leave-in conditioner, I do put back on a plastic cap and my hot head just to keep that moisture in because I didn't want my hair to dry out while I was putting on my lotion and things. So I'm just going to take down each twist and this twist, each twist is pretty much going to be the section that I am going to be doing the twist and curl with. So I'm going to go in again with the sealed with a kiss uh, finishing oil. You guys know I like to do the lock method. So after that, I'm going to go in with my favorite styling cream. This is the Moisture Love Kindred Spirits Styling Cream. And I'm just going to apply that to my hair and make sure my hair is really detangled. This is my Tangle Teaser brush. And I'm just going to twist it almost like three quarters of the way. And once I get to end, I'm just going to bring those two sections together and smooth it out with a rat tail comb on the ends. And I'm just going to apply my perm rod to the ends. And just wrap it around. And then if you need to add a little bit of extra product just to make sure it really sticks to that perm rod, you can do that. But since my hair is still a little bit damp, um, it was really easy to just get it to stick to that section. But if you have any issues, you can always add a little bit of extra product just to wrap it around the ends. And I'm just going to, again, show you guys another section in the front, and I will be back. And for each section, I did apply a bobby pin to the root just so my roots don't puff up as it dries. And I did sit under the hooded dryer just for about 30 minutes. That way my hair wasn't soaking wet when I went to bed. And I'm just going to show you guys me taking out all of these perm rods and start the separation process. I'm going to go in with the Sealed with a Kiss just to apply to my hands so it helps with the frizz while I'm separating. And if y'all don't got that muscle right there from twisting, you are not a real natural. You see that? You, you, everyone has this. <laughs> now I'm going to go in and separate each section and you guys see the definition using this Kindred Spirits. And I just kind of separate kind of carefully I just kind of tug at my hair and see where it naturally wants to separate and then I just coil the ends just to make sure that perm rod set just really is in place like see the definition guys and those ends I just I just love this I haven't done this style in a while so I was super excited so I'm gonna go in separate fluff pick do all of those things that we do for a twist out and yeah, that is pretty much it for the look, guys. Came out super pretty, super soft, super defined, and yeah, I just, I just love it. So comment down below if you guys like this video and if you guys are going to give it a try. And let me know down below also what other kind of videos you want to see from me moving forward. I will have a lot more time to film. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.